I'd like us to uh, welcome uh, Kirsten Hoffman, who will uh, first talk a little bit about um, what's up with the Friends of Attila Park, and then give us uh, a net the Zara Center update as well. Kirsten, thank you. Hi. So, um, I'm Kirsten updates with respect to Gatillo Park. Um, for anybody who's not familiar with Gatillo Park, it's a historic park, um, age about 100, 100 years old. It's located near the Greenway between Salem and Endicott Streets and Stillman and Morton Streets. Um, beautiful mur murals were painted last summer for anyone who hasn't seen them. Um, but a, a, a few things that are going on with respect to the park, we have um, an exhibit of historic photos and articles um, and maps, which is located at the Boston Harbor Pop-Up Gallery, which is also Robin Reed's studio space. So Robin, you got here right in time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that will be there until July. Um, it's open from 12 to 4 every day. Um, so stop by. Um, I have flyers um, that look well, you can share or um, use. Anything else you have, Evan? There's a fabulous um, history um, uh, of the park through um, really fascinating uh, photos and uh, information, and it really uh, does make me uh, quite nostalgic for the park, even though it's had a tough history. Um, and it's so so much fun to see those old photographs. Um, and uh, Kristen's done such a good job with um, retelling the history. Um, and I would encourage you to come and see the photos and really uh, get to understand the history um, of, the, of the park um, at, the, at the show. It's, it's fun to walk around. It's in chronological order. Um, it's, it makes it more alive for everybody to see it back yeah, and, and Robin's studio space, too, it's not just that, but there are a variety of other really interesting exhibits there. So, um, so if you haven't been there, you should definitely go over. Um, also, with respect to the park, um, we have a Love Your Block mini grant for $1,200 that we'll be using during the course of the summer to make some um, temporary interim improvements to the park. Um, we're going to be hopefully reducing the height of some fences. We're going to be placing some large planters with plants and we're working with the city on that. So later this month, we'll have an event at the park including um, a cleanup and power washing and some other events during the course of the summer that should be um, a lot of fun. And Maria mentioned that in the city's budget, there's been $200,000 allocated toward planning for the future renovation of Catilla Park. And so the city will have a process with respect to exactly what those plans will entail. And um, we'll, we'll work with them, but I think it's also very important for the community to be involved in these processes whenever they come up because um, ultimately we want a result for the park that benefits and provides uses that are suitable for all of the North End. So right now it's a playground, there could be other potential uses in the future. Um, so hopefully everyone will be involved in that process as well. We also have, some of you saw on northendwaterfront.com that there's been an additional $25,000 allocated in the state budget um, to control the park. Um, so there's a uh, there's a good future there for a park that needs a lot of work. Um, any questions about the park? Questions for the audience? <laughs> Anyone? You've done a great I job. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 